Oakland Saints have to draft Jaden Daniels. And I'm here to tell you why. You saw it on the thumbnail. You saw it in the title. And I'm going to give you my five reasons. And I'm also going to take the gauge of other Saints fans just like you at home. I went to Twitter and I went to our YouTube community page and asked Saints fans to sound off. So I want to share my opinion. I want to share their opinion. And I want you to enjoy today's show. But first things first, I just want to address the elephant in the room. I firmly do believe, and I'm not necessarily convinced, that if Dennis Allen is still around, come 2024 NFL draft time, not necessarily convinced Jane Daniels is the draft pick. And why that's the case, they will have, assuming their cream of the crop of whatever player they want to draft. Currently, New Orleans drafts at number nine. So if that holds out, I don't know if Dennis Allen's going to be the guy who says, I want to go get Jane Daniels. He might go and get an offensive lineman, go to a linebacker, go get a wide receiver, a tight end. They might go get another position in need. Because Dennis Allen went and brought in Derek Carr, handpicked his quarterback, and said, that's my guy. So I don't know if Dennis Allen would draft Jane Daniels. So that's why we need to fire Dennis Allen. But let's talk about his scouting profile. If you don't know anything about the LSU quarterback, he did start his electric career at Arizona State. He did uh, cross over with players like Brandon Ayuk, and he did transfer over to LSU back in 2022. Now, this season alone, he has been a five-time SEC Player of the Week, and he put up the highest passer efficiency rating in FBS history at a, a 208.01. Unbelievable. This season, in terms of the accolades and the awards that he is eligible, has already won. He got the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award winner, and he's a 2023 Heisman finalist, and in my opinion, the Heisman favorite. I mean, he is just an absolute stud. So don't jinx it, Saints fans, if you want the New Orleans Saints to draft Jaden Daniels. If you want JD5 to swap out that purple and gold for some black and gold, hit that sub button, lock us in, and subscribe today. So let's go through my five reasons why I want the New Orleans Saints to draft Jaden Daniels. He's got good arm talent, and he has scary good accuracy. If you just look at the tape, if you look at the highlights, you can see he has the arm talent to be able to layer throws at all three levels, whether it's short, intermediate, or long passes. He can hit in between the hashes. He can hit near the sideline. He is an accurate thrower of the football. And in 2023, his passing yards were third in college football with over 3,800. Passing yards per game, 317.7, which was third. The yards per attempt, I love this number, 11.7. He is stretching the ball down the field. He is stretching the field. And you want to know an interesting number? Derek Carr's is a 7.0. And in Derek Carr's career has always ranged around 5.5 to 7-ish. And in terms of the passing touchdowns, 40, I mean, goodness gracious, unbelievable. 40 passing touchdowns is first in college football. Only four interceptions is absolutely insane. And the big play number. Look at that. And that means plays of 20-plus yards. 88. He has 88 passing or, or, or plays that are more than 20 yards. And that is first in all players in all of college football. So my point is Jane Daniels is pretty good at this sport of football. So the number two reasons I really like Jane Daniels, and there's a million of them, but I here's my number two. The dual threat ability isn't good. It's not like, oh wow, it's he's a really good and he's a slippery. Dude, no, it's absolutely freaking insane. It, it, it's 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 jaw dropping. Like, quite frankly, if you watch Jaden Daniels run the ball, it's scary. Like, this guy extends plays and can make things happen like nobody's business. He might be one of the best ball carrying quarterbacks I've seen in recent history. 135 carries, over 1,100 yards, 8.4 yards per tote. Goodness gracious, that is electric. And 10 touchdowns plus 40 passing touchdowns, 50 total touchdowns. And that is the fifth player in SEC history to account for 50 touchdowns in a season. And did you know that Jane Daniels is also the second quarterback in SEC history to pass for 3,500 yards and rush for 1,000 in a single season? Want to know who the other one who did that was? They just made a Netflix documentary about him, Johnny Money Manziel. Jane Daniels, stellar. 
He is a Heisman winner. He is an absolute game changer. He is a phenomenal electric football player. And he provides youth and he provides energy. And those are two things that the New Orleans Saints need desperately right now. This Saints team, it's an aging roster. There's a lot of players on there who are talented but old and expensive. This guy can provide the spark that he needs. The Saints need a spark. And quite frankly, JD5, he's the energizer bunny. Just pounding away, going crazy, making big-time plays. And I know y'all all watched this game, the uh, Florida versus LSU game. And this was his Heisman performance. This was his Heisman moment. This game made Jaden Daniels the first quarterback in FBS history to have at least 350 passing yards and over 200 rushing yards in a single game. Jaden Daniels knows how to win football games. He knows how to create plays, and he knows how to be a gamer. So you tell me. We just talked about Jaden Daniels' Heisman moment. Do you think that he's going to win the Heisman? Or do you think that all these FSU fans saying, well, we didn't make the playoff because Jordan Travis is hurt, so he should win the Heisman? Or, like, what do you think? I want you to let me know. Just type W for win, type L for lose. Personally, I'm spamming those W because, quite frankly, just Jaden Daniels is the best football, college football player in, in, in all of college football this season. There's just really not an argument if you ask me. One thing that I admire a lot, especially in a young player like Jaden Daniels that's going to be in a position that, of leadership like the quarterback role, he's hardworking and he's committed to his development. Like he's not just a guy who's going to come in and just be satisfied with what he's done. He's always looking to get better in every single game. Whether you look at his Arizona State tape, whether you look at the tape at LSU with Brian Kelly, every single game he got better. Every single season he got better in every single facet of his game. Look at the passing numbers. So we're going to start in 2021. Look at him go up. 10 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. 17 touchdowns to 3 interceptions, 40 to 4. Unreal. The passing yards, 2,300, 2,900, 3,800. And then the completion percentage increases every year. And the carries, the rushing, gets better every year. 138 carries and 6 touchdowns, damn good. 186 carries for 885, 11 touchdowns, wow. And then this year, over 1,000 yards on the ground, 10 touchdowns. Sure, the touchdown number dropped, but dude, this kid is special. He is a very quality kid, and he is a smart player that will be a good leader in a locker room that needs a player like him. I'm not saying that there isn't leadership in the Saints locker room, but I do think that a player like Jaden Daniels can create new leadership and new energy in a locker room that desperately needs it. And here's the other thing. The Saints' financials, the money situation, it's gone to shit. It's not good. So here's how it works. Cheap quarterbacks mean you get to put money elsewhere. If you're not investing $100 million into your quarterback, you can go and get a top-tier wide receiver. You can beef up the offensive line. You can go and sign a top-tier edge rusher. Tr make a big trade at the trade deadline. And here's what the working formula is. Cheap quarterbacks right now is the, working is the working formula. You get your cheap rookie quarterback. You surround him with all the talent in the world. Give him a freaking absolute trough of an offensive line. Get the trenches filled. And then you get him a great defense. And then you get him pass catchers. And then you get him a running back. And then you get him everything that he needs. So there's literally no reason to not succeed. And I want you to just run down memory lane with me. Let's think about the Eagles with Carson Wentz in 2017. Let's think about the Bengals with Joe Burrow with their Super Bowl run. Let's look at the Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes. His first court, Super Bowl was on a rookie contract. And let's look at right this second it's going on in the NFL. The San Francisco 49ers with Brock Purdy. They still have a ton of money to spend. They're going to be able to extend Brandon Ike. They already gave... Nick Bosa, the most money that any non-quarterback player has ever made in the NFL. That is the working formula. Because when you have a first-round pick, you, or when you have a cheap guy, you can keep him around on a short con or on a cheap contract. Especially if he's a first-round pick, you get the fifth-year option, meaning you can get that for an extra year for a cheap contract. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not the only one who thinks that the Saints need to go and get, P uh, go and get Jane Daniels. Pro Football Focus put out a mock draft, and here's what they had to say. 
Daniels is the biggest riser in the draft class to this point. An afterthought for many going into year two. Daniels, a Heisman-worthy season at LSU, he recorded a elite season grades as a passer and runner to garner the top overall quarterback in the F. BS at 94.7. He's drastically improved both how he takes care of the football. You can look at the 2022 numbers and how he sees the field and execute big time plays. Look at this season. So if we're not talking quarterback, we've been talking Jaden Daniels this whole video, but if we're not talking quarterback, if you want to go get another position, what would you draft? Do you go get O-line? Do you go get D-line? Do you get a wide receiver? Do you go boost up Brock Bowers or something like that? I don't know. You tell me. I want you to be the GM and let me know. So coming up, I have some reasons as to why Saints fans just like you want JD5 in the black and gold. We're going to go through the community post replies. We're going to go through the tweets that y'all sent me, and we're going to talk all about it. And I'm going to react, and it's going to be a lot of fun. But today's show would not be made possible if it weren't for our awesome friends over at Game Time. And I have one question for you. Do you hate missing out on live events? Well, with game time, you never have to. Because just this month, I've been able to go and see so many concerts, so many live events. And here's the deal. Christmas is coming up. I can't say what I got because my girlfriend watches these videos. But hey, game time. Thank you for the Christmas gift. So shout out to game time. Download the app. Use code SAINTSCHAT. You get $20 off. Again, if you use code S-A-I-N-T-S. C-H-A-T, you get $20 off your first purchase. And Game Time is such a user-friendly app. And look at this. Right here, you can get to the Saints-Panthers game at the Dome for $17. You get $20 off your first purchase. Do the math. You, want, you basically want to go to this game for free? Go download the Game Time app. You get $20 off. Use that code SaintsChat. You see it right there. You plug it in. It's so much fun. Terms apply. Again, create an account. Redeem code S-A-I-N-T-S-C-H-A-T for a $20 off your first purchase. Download game time. Last minute tickets. Lowest price. Guaranteed. All that information is in the comment section and description of this video. Thank you, game time, for sponsoring our video. All right, so we're going to start off on the tweets that I put out. The tweet exactly read, hey, you want to get on a show tomorrow? You want a chance to get on the show? I need you to tell me why you want the Saints to draft Jaden Daniels. If you guys ever want to hit me up or interact with me on Twitter, it's at TraceGerard48. I put out a lot of this interactive content to just connect more Saints fans together. But let's see what you guys had to say. Duncan says Jaden Daniels is an absolute dog. There's so much talent, heart, and experience with JD. Brian Kelly is a poor decision maker, and JD is winning games in spite of the coach or, or his team. He's the best player on a good roster in a tough conference. Keep the local boy local. I absolutely love that, Duncan. I think that those are a that's a very good analysis of what he does. I think that Brian Kelly's an idiot. I don't like Brian Kelly. Full transparency. I'm not an LSU fan. I went to Arkansas. I just, it, it, this is not because Brian Kelly is at LSU. I've hated Brian Kelly for years. I think that he is not a, he, just an idiot. I, I, I think that he's a fool. His whole family thing really just was the nail in the coffin for me. But Jane Daniels is a dog. You nailed the nail on the head there, Duncan. Let's go to Jim Conley, the next one. Because I don't want to see our old, slow defense chase this dude around for the next 10 years. Yeah, my biggest fear right now is the New Orleans Saints pick nine in the NFL draft. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers pick at 10 in the NFL draft. So my fear is that the Saints either A, pass on them, or B, keep winning games, in the, or start winning games, the Bucs, you know, lose games. And Tampa Bay is like, ha, let's play spoiler and go draft Jane Daniels. F you, New Orleans. Like, I could totally see that being the case. My biggest fear is he somehow ends up in the NFC South because I think that that will forever be one of those picks that haunts us. Fun fact, the Saints haven't picked a quarterback in the first round since Archie Manning. His grandson is about to be, you know, NFL eligible. Just do what you want with that information. Uber Eric, I think this organization needs to change its philosophy on quarterbacks. Gone are the days where you need a pocket QB. You need someone who has the ability to escape the pocket and get 
those hidden yards. I'll take Daniels or Penix Jr. I totally agree. My two top quarterbacks, because I know that this, I don't think the Saints are going to be able to find a way to pick in top one, number one or number two. I don't think you're getting Drake, man. I don't think you're getting Caleb Williams. To be quite honest, I would rather have a player like Jaden Daniels, and I'm not saying that they're a better football player, but for what I want to see out of my football team, in my eyes, in my opinion, I like what Jaden Daniels has to offer, and that's what I want to see. I also think Michael Penix Jr. is a phenomenal football talent, and I think that I would be very excited to have him as well. Point being, you need to go draft a quarterback if you ask me. I totally agree. Gone are the days where you have a pocket passer. Gavin, let's see what Eugene Globbers had to say. Jane Daniels is a clutch leader, hardworking player, and we'd be the best Saints quarterback since Drew Brees. Just kind of running through the names. It's not that hard to do that. Trevor Simeon, Andy Dalton, Jameis Winston, Taysom Hill, Derek Carr, Ian Book. Jake Hayner hasn't started in a regular season. So, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think he would be better than any of those guys. Um, he's a dual threat quarterback that can be accurate, precise, and he has great arm. He can move out of the pocket to run for touchdowns, first downs, and not getting sacks every play just like Derek Carr. He has fun playing. And I think that that last few words right here is important. He has fun playing. Like, it doesn't seem like this Saints team is having fun. Like, I don't mean to make this seem like it's not a, a job. Like, the NFL is a job and it's a business, but it's a game. You should be having fun. You should be, you know, out there with your boys winning games. Like, that's what the, fo the NFL and what football is all about. So I totally agree with you, Gavin. Let's go to Laborde, the last tweet. Well, the numbers back up that he is one of the most prolific pass rushers, first down touchdown generators ever in the sport, and his decision-making growth is shown by efficiency and growth from last year. Call it an X factor or intangible or whatever. I agree. I, I think that he is a very good football player. He, he, his numbers, 50 total touchdowns, that's, it's freak of nature stuff, guys. So, um, I, I mean, it's wild. I totally agree with you, Laborde. And I want to open up the floor to our YouTube comment section as well. Why do you want the Saints to draft Jaden Daniels? I want you to take advantage of this time. Share your thoughts. Give me your, you know, a, a well-thought-out response. Like, this is your time to say, hey, Jaden, if you watch these videos, this is why I want you in New Orleans. So, like, hey, Mickey. If you watch these videos, this is what the fans want. We're the ones who fill the seats. So let me know why you want the Saints to draft Jaden Daniels. And we're going to kind of speed run through these ones. These are our YouTube comment section reply, or our YouTube community post replies. Spam God uh, RNWL. He said that he scans the whole field. He has an accurate deep ball. Um, plus him, Taysom Hill, and Alvin RPO would be hard to stop. Holy shit, that would actually be the most fun thing in the wide, whole wide world. Oh, my God, that would be sick. I, I inject that into my veins. Big, easy believing. He can do it all. He is the new quarterback. He's the epitome of what today's game is. Couldn't agree more. Derek Carr, I don't hey, – he's a pocket passer. He's fine. He's what a – look at all the good, the good quarterbacks now. Look at all the top ten quarterbacks. How many of those are dual threat run, uh, quarterbacks? A lot of them are. King Oliver, I'd love to see Jaden throw deep passes to Olave and Shahid. Plus, he hurts defenses with his feet. Totally agree, King Oliver. St. Greg, I love this picture, by the way. That's a great photo. That's hilarious. Um, whole new, he could create a whole new culture and hopefully bring in new coaches. Um, or he, he, create, he can create a whole new culture, and hopefully there will be new coaches. We can finally move on from the loss of Drew. I think that's the most important thing of all of this. That's why I picked this comment, because that last few words. The, it's finally time to move on from Drew. We need to find our guy. We need to find our leader. We need to find the person who's going to take accountability and lead this team through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I think Jane Daniels could do that very, very well for a very long time. LSU guy, say, I mean, come on. It would just be so cool to make it happen. So Mickey, make the damn pick. But guys, this is why you subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed today's content. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, y'all stay golden. Injury news coming at you tomorrow. We'll see you next time. Peace.